Today, you're getting up close and personal for the love of textures. Ooh, goopy textures, creamy textures, textures that go scritchy scratchy all over. What did we do to deserve such a cool, satisfying thing? I wanna eat it. Mm. Oh, so creamy, so hydrating. Today, we're taking a look at some of my favorite skincare products that have interesting textures to see which ones are the most innovative and which ones bring me the most joy. You didn't know you could make a whole video on this topic? Well, maybe you're not ready for for this, but there's only one way to find out. Stay tuned for a texture exploration action at Kabankadation Hello, television viewers. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. And for the first time on the floor, I'm laying down horizontally right now. Why? Because I've got my camera on the thing that helps the camera look down. Because I have some of my favorite texture pleasing, minded, satisfying skincare products that are in my routine that I wanted to show you what I love about them. Some of these things have amazing textures because they actually help improve the performance of the products. Some of them it's just to add a sensory delight. Either way, I love them. They have a special place in my heart and I want you to know about that and to experience them the same way that I do, which is in a beautiful, up close, and personal color. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more Texture Tuesday type videos like this, even though it's not Tuesday. Get over it. And most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload at least two every week. Sometimes I'm not on the floor. You don't want to miss it, so click subscribe and turn on your notifications. All right, it's time to show you some texture. I feel like my face, the gravity is very different from this angle. Do I look different to you than normal when I'm laying down? Bird's eye view, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna get out of here so that I can move the real work table back under the camera. Oh, it feels good to stretch. And we can dig into some textures. Ah, sleepy. Cut. Oh, I'm so sorry that you don't get to see my face for this portion of the video. Actually, I'm not sorry because it's kind of nice. My face could be covered in blood right now. As long as I keep this table clean, you're not gonna know. Why covered in blood? Let's not get into the blood. Now you'll notice I have all of our products arranged, a lot of fun devices and other tools. You might notice some non-skincare products as well. Don't worry yet, we're gonna get to it. The first type of product I want to talk about is probably the one that I've been using for the longest and the one that we looked at at the beginning of this, which is a gel. I love a gel. This one is actually a gel plus cream as we saw. It's called You Do You. Moisturizing vitamin C gel plus cream. I love this brand. They have tons of really good textures and really nice smelling ingredients and help you get that dewy glow. They gifted me this stuff to review just so you know. And this is such a fun idea. Let's zoom in. They also give you this little spatula. So as we saw, there's like this clear yellow honey-like gel at the top layer and then underneath that is a cream. The instructions say upon first opening to mix the two and then and apply nightly. So you only need to mix this really once to combine the two ingredients and then it remains like a gel cream for the remainder of your jar. What's the benefit of that, you might ask? Well, gels are typically, oops. Something rolled. Gels are typically really fast absorbing and kind of cooling on the skin and creams are usually able to pack a little bit more of that like hydration and can be a little bit slower to absorb into the skin. So it's really kind of a matter of preference. Gel creams do tend to kind of toe the line because they're basically a little bit of each. See how that combined to be a very homogenous kind of texture? Mmm, see, that's gonna give you some quick absorption, yet you still have that really dewy, hydrated look. And the skin doesn't feel super slippery right now. Like, it's very nice for the summertime or hot weather because if I'm putting on like a thick sunscreen in the summer, I will be sweating underneath that cream right away. So this is a great option. And it smells so good. It's like there's a tea tree slash citrus kind of smell in there. It's very energizing, great for a vitamin C product. I just thought it would be fun to see what it's like to spread this creamy texture on a cracker, specifically this cinnamon honey made graham cracker because I just feel like it'll look really cool. Ooh, yeah, baby. Look at that gel cream. Let's do a little more. Mmm, delicious, don't you think? Let's make it look as appetizing as possible. 
ready for the magazines. Perfect. We'll set that over there as our swatch. This is a really beautiful product, so I'm not going to be spreading all of that on crackers. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. The packaging is just a beautiful, too. That frosted double wall jar. Yes. Let's see what else we have for gel texture. This guy, I love the texture. This is actually from Peter Thomas Roth. This is not the packaging you'll see in the stores. I'll show you what it really looks like right here. So this was a lab sample I got to test out because I guess I'm just really special. And it's a 30% lactic acid treatment, which is really high lactic acid for an over-the-counter product. You can get similar types of things in the, ooh, look at the light pass through that bottle. That's one of my favorite things, like refracted light. So you, leave, you put a two pumps of this gel on and leave it on for two and a half minutes. It does kind of sting sometimes, but then when you rinse it off, you like add warm water and it neutralizes the treatment and it just leaves your pores looking so smooth and your skin looking so clear. And I love the texture of these. Let me pump out a few drops for you. Ooh, ooh. Isn't that nice? Zooming in, I don't wanna waste this stuff. What's crazy about this lactic acid treatment is that it sort of has like a lactose type smell to it. I don't wanna say that it smells like cheese, but in a way, it has a smell that does sort of remind me of cheese or milkshake sort of cheese yogurt, but it's very faint. It's like very reminiscent of that, but not like, oof, dairy farm on my mouth type of thing. So the fact that it does such a great job at minimizing the appearance of my pores. It's like, whatever, it could smell like straight up cow manure and I'd be like, eh, it's natural. Ooh, look how stuck and slidey around I am. Goopy, goopy. I'm also someone who kind of likes to use a mask or a skin treatment every so often, like a few times a week. So the fact that this one only requires like three minutes, two and a half minutes of being on before you rinse it off, and it doesn't dry down. It remains a gel the whole time, so you can like just rinse it off really fast with warm water, and it's like the quickest mask option I have. I find myself reaching for it a lot, and when I run out of this stuff, I'll probably buy more, even though it's like ooh, a little more than I would normally spend on a like ancillary treatment. Peter Thomas Roth is the stuff of like, you gotta try that stuff. They've got products for everyone. Anyway, look how slimy my hand looks. Ding! Love that lactic pore treatment. You heard it here first. Ooh, speaking of acids, this is another gel formula that I love, love, love. And I've talked about it a lot here before, so I won't bore you, but that's my Paula's Choice BHA Skin Perfecting Gel. It's 2% BHA. And I put that on at the very beginning of my skincare routine because it just helps keep my pores clear. Boo, 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 boo. Look how slimy and slippery it is. Ooh. It's very easy to absorb and I love that. It works great for oily skin. They also have a liquid version of it that you have to apply to a cotton pad, but this one is just so much easier to put on and fun. Next, I wanna take a pit stop into foam town for my next favorite texture for skincare. So this is not like a skincare product per se. It is a skincare tool, although it is used with cleansers. Usually I'll, for example, be using this House 99 by David Beckham sample that I got in one of my Birchbox grooming things. Look, this is also a fun gel texture, if you remember. It's like a charcoal black gel, so get your life with that spooky realness. Ooh, it's for Halloween. Love the fragrance of this, and I know it has a lot of lathering agents in it, which will make it perfect for this experiment. This tool is popular on Instagram. It's called the Nuni Marshmallow Whip Maker, and it's a rich foam maker for skincare products. Basically, you just add a little bit of water, it tells you how much right there, and you can then add as much cleanser as you want, and whip it up so you get this thick marshmallowy foam and it doesn't like do anything other than improve the sensory experience of your skincare which I'm all about so let's add some of this Ooh, look at that. Let's do more, just to make a lot of foam. Does that weird anyone out? Cause it weirds me out a little bit. Then you just take the top, which has this little whisker, and then a lid, and you simply, a pumpy, pumpy, pumpy. Oops, spraying liquid everywhere. And you can feel it start to whip up in there right away. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Let's keep going. Ooh, see what they mean by marshmallow whip? It's like foamy to the max. Look at that rich lather. Uh. 
Uh, David Beckham, you didn't even mean to make it this rich, but you did. Let's put this, some of this on a graham cracker. It's like a latte foam. It's very satisfying. So imagine putting this on your face to wash your face every day. You feel like a king. How much foam can we fit on this cracker? One of my favorite snacks lately is just taking whipped cream and putting it on a graham cracker. I know that that's kind of juvenile, but it's where I'm at. I think that's why I thought to put these like two cream textures between graham crackers, and I'm glad we did because now we have this skincare s'more. Ooh, squeeze it. That's wasteful, Nicholas. Get that out of here. Is anyone at home being like, what the hell is this? Because if so, hit the thumbs up button. That's how you let me know. Ooh, we love the way you foam in front of us, Nicholas. That's why we give you the thumbs up. You deserve. <laughs> Open your hands to me. See how that marshmallow whip maker takes your ordinary face wash and turns it into something a little more fun and festive and fresh for your skin? It's great. Okay, I have to clean some of this up. Look, that's a beautiful photo though, isn't it? Look at all the texture. I use these whippers on our photo shoots a lot at work too because you can whip up the shampoo and just like put it right where you need to. There's a little photography tip. Wow, I'm full of helpful knowledge. Stop making a mess. Now we're cleaning up. Cleaning up after ourselves is half the fun of being a texture scientist. I learned that at Harvard, the Harvard School of Texture Messery, which is a real degree. Are you guys ready for another very trendy texture? It's called the balmy, putty, or I don't know, solid texture, I guess you could say. Here we have the poreless primer putty from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Very popular because it was compared by a famous Jeffree Star to the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which is also in this format. You can see I usually use the back of a tooth or a Q-tip to scrape a little bit out or the back of my fingernails, but this is like a really great primer that smooths out your pores and then sort of, I guess, like hydrates at the same time. It has squalene in it. Let's swatch them onto the wood. No, this is marble. Onto the marble for a moment. Scrape, senora. Scrape your body right. Ooh, see that beautiful texture? That's what you want. When I first ordered this, I thought it was gonna be really hard, like a texture you'd have to like melt into your skin or between your fingers at all, but it's actually very pliable right from the get-go. Like it's soft in the jar. Look, ooh, you can displace it pretty easily with your fingertip and I'm all here for it. I love this texture. And you kind of let it sit on for 30 seconds before you start applying whatever your makeup or I'll put on like a powder after this. Let's see what it looks like with a little powder on top. I just love mixing things, don't you? Now, can you get any sense of what it does for the skin? It's not necessarily mattifying, but I like that it has like pore closing properties. You can see it just really blends in smoothly. Love her. Elf has this other little texture thing that I love, a solid blender cleanser, which I got on clearance once. It's like basically their version of the solid blender cleanser from Beauty Blender. And I just use it, I rub my brushes on them when they're wet and use it to clean things off. It's black because it has charcoal. We can officially stop adding charcoal to everything just to make it seem like it's healthy. Does anyone else feel like maybe we're adding it to too many things? Anyway, I've never scraped into this, but I've always wanted to, so let's do it. Ooh, see, it's very waxy. It's not as easy. Ugh. Ugh. It just gives you little shavings, crusty shavings. Ooh, I like it. It's like shaving soap, don't you think? Oh, you know what, guys? I think this is just basically soap. <laughs> That's why it cost me 70 cents on clearance. But it's so pretty, look how it reflects the light. Now I'm gonna add some texture to it so that I can grip my brushes even better when I run them through there. That's the power of charcoal, baby. Ooh, cool. She's out. Mangled her. Why? Just cuz. She was just soap with charcoal in it. Ooh, let's move her out of the way. Cuz speaking of charcoal, that makes me think of all of the powders that we have to look at. But first, here's one final appearance from my Tula Glow Stick. This is another solid product. We have did a whole review on this one, actually. And I didn't actually love, love, love this one at the time, but I've been using it every day now because that blue little highlight brightening effect is no joke. And the last time I had a hard time showing you how beautiful the color of it was, but maybe now that we've got the texture smearing preparation, uh, yeah, no, that's not easy to do. We tried it. As you can see, she melts down really fast into sort of like an oil, so that's probably why, but she does have this beautiful sparkle to it. There's now bits of black soap floating in there, but you get the feeling. Boop, boop, clean. 
cleaning up. Look, I know just what to use to get all these little extra bits off. Have you ever heard of Silly Putty? This is a fun texture in itself. If someone could make a primer out of this, like poreless putty primer that's actually putty, that would be cool. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the end of my finger and pick up all the soap that I do not want to be there. Roll it across the marble. I don't know what I'm doing. I love textures. It's fun to just take a minute to play with them. This has actually been really relaxing. A couple people might be like, that's super wasteful. You can't scrape your skincare products. Like, that's rude. To those people, I would say I'm using maybe like one or two applications of product with each of these tests. And also, I already paid for it, so I can kind of do what I want. This is the Plush Party Lip Mask. I am so excited to try this, but as you can see, it's unbroken. Ooh, we're gonna break virgin ground. Let's zoom in. This is gonna be really satisfying you guys not to hype this up ooh a buttery vitamin C lip mask I don't mind if I do ooh that was fun buttery indeed okay I'm gonna apply a little bit of this to my lips I'll tell you how it goes as it melts on mm -mm, mm -mm. and then at the end of the video we'll do a comparison of my lips pre buttery mask and post buttery mask to know if this is the butteriest mask we've ever even heard of ooh it melts real good I also like how this I do care has like a lot of vitamin C products wouldn't you say I've noticed that to be true zoop there she goes I really like the smell of this product it has like it melts down quick and it smells like oil so it makes me feel like maybe there's like a lot of rose oil in here Ooh, see how that's melting and it's got this beautiful color so pink so fresh Ooh, I love it. This brand, I can see why they're all about the dewy thing, because these are some high emollient things. That'll help your lips shine, that's for sure. I definitely get why those products need to be solid, because they have like kind of a solid oil in them that helps it kind of pack a lot of hydration, I guess you could say. And this one I've used before, this is their Berry Melting Makeup Remover Balm, and it's so nice. It smells beautiful, just like berries, and it helps melt off foundation and stuff right away. Let's show you. I have this waterproof or sweat proof I guess mm, SPF makeup from Clinique we'll put it on the back of my hand all of the stuff on my hand makes the makeup going really smooth okay so there's my made up hand there's my unmade up hand now let's take some of this berry melting mask scoop just a little bit needed and you just apply it and start working it in and even though it's waterproof makeup it just instantly starts breaking down all of that foundation and lifting it off the skin so that you can just wipe it off and if you had like a full face of eye makeup with waterproof eyeliner or anything like that you can use this to just really get in there and start lifting it away that way you're not stuck with all of this raccoon eyes and leftover makeup on your skin that you can't get off until after you get in the shower this is a really nice one-stop shop to melt off a whole face of makeup in no time at all look at that oof and as I said she smells so good she smells so crispy Ooh. and look how generous this jug is like do you know how long it's gonna take me to get through all of that this is a very economical way of removing all of that makeup because again it's kind of just using oils it seems to melt away that hard product love it Last but not least, you guys know that I'm very into powders. I had just got this charcoal powder from Origins, so you know the deal with that, but it's so much fun to play with. I just love pouring this out, and then you add a little bit of water to make it into a, like an exfoliating paste. Let's show you. So there's our charcoal powder, and now let me just add doop doop. Ooh, and you can feel that active charcoal kind of form a paste and that will just remove all of the gunk from your skin like look at this I have some makeup residue not for long. Let's exfoliate the day away mm. Oh, yeah, that's that gritty feeling I do like and now I'll rinse Ooh, Wow, so bright so fresh so 100% now this other powder I love is called oh hi instant texture hair powder I got this at urban outfitters and I normally just spray like that much into my palm every morning and it gives my hair this amazing natural grip and volume that it just kind of like stands up on its own without feeling like it has anything in it it's magic and I've never really understood what's in it is it natural is it made of silicone I don't know let's touch it and find out ooh look two powders mixing in the forest what color will they make together this is very fun it's like playing in a sandbox but you know it makes even less sense because I'm an adult I have to clean this up later <laughs> ooh powder 
Okay, look, art experiment. I'm gonna do sprinkle dinkle foundation, snow, and then to cut through that pure white landscape. Wow. And now we're going to gently comb through. <laughs> The charcoal seems to pull moisture out of just about everything, so that hair powder starts to beat up real fast, making, I don't know, something you probably don't care to see. Science is so fascinating! <laughs> okay, everybody, we're back here down on the floor. I've cleaned up my texture tragedies, and everything is back to normal. I've had this lip mask on for like 20 minutes now, and I've actually never done a lip mask before. But it's interesting how well that kind of thick product stays on. Now we can wipe away to reveal. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. You know, my lips were getting very crusty leading up to this, which tends to happen towards the end of the day. But now they look buttery soft, thanks to that buttery formula. What do you guys think of this texture experiment? Which of the textures that we explored are you finding most satisfying in your routines? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more texture explorations just like this. Thank you so much to the brands that gifted me products that were shown in this. Oh, but most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks like this right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So turn on those video notifications so that you join the Nickety crew and never miss new stuff. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for mixing gels and creams and powders and solids with me today. I will see you next time.